Hey guys, and yes, as you know, I've been looking up the noodles, yes. Damn, good girl. Right! On one of the worst video games of all time Duke Nukem Forever. Fuck this game. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Now, this game. Killed off the Duke Nukem franchise. I know, right? It did. Yes. There have been some good, good, good big games like the first game, Duke Nukem 3D, Duke Nukem Manhattan Project, Duke Nukem Zero Time to Kill. No, that's just stupid. Yeah. There have been some mobile games about oh, Duke Nukem. Yes. But ever since 2006, you know, there wasn't even any Duke Nukem game in 2011. Yes. Well, for five, five years, it's five years countdown. Do do no go forever came out, came down and ruined the franchise. Yes, and killed it off. Yes. I feel bad for Duke Nukem. Besides, yes, I'll tell you why. First of all, it has a long load times. Like they were so long, so long. I can't. It's just weird. And, so long and I can't. It's long, alright? They're very, very long. They're long load times and I can't stand them. Yes. And it has bad pop up textures. Yes, ugly. It has texture glitches. Yes. A lot of them. And it has a lot of issues like. Frame rate drops, yes. Frame rate chugging along, yes. And the humor's so stupid. I can't. The humor is unfunny, just unfunny. The graphics are bad. The voice acting is horrible. And there isn't a much enough meters to go down. Like, are you kidding me? That's even not even worth pricing. Besides, and the multiplayer is just stupid, just stupid. Yes. Now this game was in development for about a decade. Yes, a decade. A fucking decade. Yes, about fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yes, fifteen fucking years. Yes. You know why? Because they kept changing engi engines, that's why. From en never ending to another to another, yes. Restarting the whole entire project forever, yes. And George Broussard did not take any... Bruce... In 3D films, most likely had no experience for making a... Duke of Forever whatsoever, yes. It's too long to finish the thing. Yes. And Duke Nukem Forever. Yes. And a change of publishers. Change of fucking publishers. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. Change of publishers. Why? And they kept switching consoles to another. Console to another. Console to another. Console to another. Yes. There was a lot. There's a lot of things why it was in development for so long. Yes. Yes. And Duke Nukem, yeah. Besides, it was, the game started in development in 1996 as a 2D platformer, but unfortunately scrapped it. In 1997, they changed it to a first 3D first-person shooter. In 1998, it was announced, and the publisher was originally going to be GT Interactive, but soon called broke and GT Interactive was purchased by Infogrames, and that's where a long development cycle started. GT and GT Interactive was purchased by Infogrames 
and they got through another publisher and George Broussard, the stupid idiot, decided to change engines. What the hell? The changing engines like is horrible, just horrible, and you can't change what it is. Yes. They kept changing engines engine to an yes. But in two thousand nine Take Two Interactive it almost caused 3D Realms to go bankrupt and 3D Realms laid off the team that were working on Duke Nukem Forever. Yes, but in nine but it but in two thousand ten the Duke Nukem team formed and the Duke Nukem Forever would have been cancelled. Duke Nukem Forever would have been cancelled, yes. Well, unfortunately, in 2010, Gearbox Software picked up the thing and... Yes. First of all, it was originally going to be a PC launch title. A PC launch title, yes. The PC version was the buggiest of them all. Yes. The PC version is awful. Like, so good awful, yeah, and they decided, well, you know, to, you know, you know, just to uh, put the back in, and also, I can't, they also decided, you know, to hire Triptych and Piranha Games to finish the goddamn thing, and the Piranha Games was formed by, the Duke, was formed by the Duke Nukem himself, the Duke Nukem Forever self, yes. And they took, and they finished the game in 2011, and it was a commercial failure, yes. Let's talk about the story. The story is just paper fantasy, Eddie. Fifteen years after Duke Nukem 3D, news is relaxing, a dual aliens come down, and the stoop, a plot is so stupid. And I can't understand. And the voice, I listen. And the voice acting is already bad, and I can't, yes. And the mini games are awful, just awful. What kind of mini games are they? This week? <laughs> yes. The yeah, graphics are already bad, so we can take that with, yes. Yeah. And as Angry Joe said, The game was in, had many play scenes, yeah. Yeah, 1998, 2001, and 2003, and 2007, yes. <gasps> yes. 3D Realms have most likely had no experience with the game whatsoever. Gearbox Software only took two years to develop it, and 3D Realms took like, uh, 13 years to develop it, yeah like 13 years Goodbye. and Goodbye, they took two they took two goddamn long to finish the thing and they had no experience because George Broussard who suddenly has no experience of making games whatsoever well he did have some experience making some games but he most likely has no experience of making games whatsoever and And I can see why this game sucks, yes. Got to be one of the worst, yes. I give this game a 3 out of 10 because it's awful, just awful. I can't. If you like this video, s subscribe and like, click the like button, yes. Or else I blast you into bits and don't click the like button, no damn. So this is me, sign out.